on pet mode. She blowing me like a saxophone. I call them shots, they can't tap my phone. It's hella way, get your money long. I just been like with me, myself. They think I'm crazy or crazy. Honestly, I can kill less what they think. Really, I just want the 50s and 50s. What it do, YouTube? It's your boy Trey, and I'm back with that. Pressure, man. I'm back with that pressure. So look, y'all. I know y'all see by the title. Y'all know what type of vid this is, bro. I was um, I was really just seeing a whole bunch of people like being my DMs and stuff, like asking me questions. I be seeing comments, like assuming things, uh, comments filled with curiosity. You feel me? Like wanting to know stuff. So I just figured, like, I'ma just make a, a life update. Q and A for y'all, bro. Cause like I, I've been seeing a lot. I've been seeing a lot. I've been seeing a lot. So I was like, let me do this video. But look, y'all. Before we get into this video, alright. So look, bro. Y'all know I be trying to put y'all on on how to make extra bread, easy bread. You feel me? Just extra income. Cause a lot of people be asking me, Trey, how you be affording this and whoop whoop. So I'm about to show y'all right now. It's this simple. So you just gonna answer these three questions or whatever. It don't matter, right? Once you answer that. It's gonna ask you to put your email in. Email confirmed. It'll send you an email for confirmation. Well, after all of that, all you gotta do is just wait patiently for your confirmation email. And then once you get the email, it'll have a link attached in the email that'll bring you to the registration screen. So you just gotta fill out a little bit more, you feel me, a few more things that's required and questions they got for you so they know where to send it and eventually they gonna ask for, you know, the cash, tag, all that good stuff. And then once you do all of that, just wait a little bit more and you will get your 750. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to fill this out actually, I'm actually about to fill this out and then wait for my 750. Bro, bro, y'all see this bro, bro. Y'all see what it say? Cash survey sent you 750, bro. Not even three minutes later after I finished the survey, bro. All y'all gotta do is the steps I showed and you gonna be green and you gonna get your bread, bro. Did it, um, I'm going shopping. Oh, um, bro, I'm going shopping. Bro, if you are not subscribed, bro, subscribe right now. I am 7K. 7,000 away from 200,000 subscribers, bro. And if y'all been watching my videos, I done said it plenty of times, bro. I wanted to hit 200K by the end of summer. Summer really just started, bro. And I'm about to hit 200K. So I wanna thank y'all. I'm so appreciative and I'm really grateful that you feel me? Y'all my supporters and y'all rocking with me. So I'm very thankful and hey, glory to God, bro. Cause without him, I couldn't do nothing at all. But um, dude's gonna be my narrator, basically. So that's how I'm about to just give y'all a little quick rundown. Yeah. But y'all heard that camel in the back? But uh, yeah, dude's gonna be narrating. He gonna be asking me the questions. And bro, I know it's a bunch of questions, bro. Like questions, twenty. That's a lot of questions. What? Let's get it, bro. Let's let's get into it, bro. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. Let's start this All thing. All right. We got first question. How are you mentally? How am I mentally? Uh, mentally, I'm bro. I'm great. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm at the best. Like I'm probably like I'm bro. I got the best mental I've ever had. To be honest, like I'm happy. You feel me? I'm grateful. I'm thankful for everything. Like I have no complaints for it at all. So like, my mental is great. My mental is great. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> DJ Vlad, DJ Deuce, interview. What like. has YouTube changed about your life? YouTube? Oh man, YouTube really changed a lot. I feel like. And I feel like it's changed a lot because YouTube has shown me like, it's a grind, bro. Like for something you want, you gotta grind. You gotta grind. So like take that from the YouTube aspect and apply it to everything else in life. Like, you know, you can't, you can't just sit around and do nothing or think it's gonna get handed to you. Like 
you gotta grind, bro. You gotta grind. That's why, like, I'm at 193k now. I'm about to be at 200,000 soon. Like, it's still mind blowing, bro. Cause it's a grind. It's not just like here. Like, I had to grind for it. So, I feel like it's just changed how how I look at like working. You feel me? Getting work done. Um, cause I know how on it you gotta be with YouTube. And I feel like it's um like my supporters, of course, like it. It's just allowed me to do so much, you feel me? So it's definitely changed a lot. Like lifestyle, everything, a lot. How was it like growing up with your mom being a twin? Oh, y'all, bro, it was hell, bro. It was hell. It, nah, I'm playing. It, it wasn't, it wasn't too crazy. It wasn't too bad. Now it was times that it was hell. I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, like. It'll be time, I ain't even thinking she my mama, and then they both teaming up against me. And like, bro, it, it, hey, sometimes it just get annoying, but um, you know, it wasn't too bad. It, it really, it really probably was a real good thing for me, actually. Like, having, having two of them, you know what I'm saying? Like, one gotta do something, you know, my mama gotta juggle and do a lot, whatever. She can't do it. My auntie can help out, you know, so it's it was probably actually um, a good beneficial thing for me. I ain't gonna lie, but uh, it was cool. I like having my mama and my auntie, like, you know, I like I like that. I like that, like the twins, like, that's cool. Being twins is cool. <laughs> if you had to move to a different city, where would you move to? Ah, a different city. Um, I ain't gonna lie, bro, like, It'll have to be either Atlanta. It'll have to be Atlanta or like Miami. I ain't gonna lie. Those are like the two cities that I really enjoy traveling to and going to the most. And then Atlanta is kind of like Houston. Like if you've been to Houston, you've been to Atlanta, it's not too much different. It's like Atlanta's just the like black Hollywood. Like a lot of successful black people and business people are in Atlanta. So I feel like I could see myself going there if I move or Miami, cause Miami's just vibes, bro. I be vibing in Miami. I be feeling good. I be feeling good. But oh, that $5 gas stuff, I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. $5 for gas down there is insane. But yeah, Atlanta or Miami for sure. That boy plotting. What's your favorite thing about yourself? Favorite thing about myself? Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll say the way I think. I'll say the way I think. Because I feel like the way... I, the way I think, I feel like it's, it's helped me in a lot of situations. It's saved me from, from you know, different situations just because I use my head. So... I'll say I got a pretty strong head on me, feel me? No dummy. Did you think when you were little that you were going to become a YouTuber? Hey, that's a good question. Hey, they asking about me for real. They trying to dig deep. Okay, um, nah, like, yeah, nah. It took for me when I got a little bit older, like, towards my freshman year of high school at the end of middle school. That's when it took me to realize, like, okay, I want to do this. But earlier on, bro, I wanted to hoop. Yeah, I wanted to hoop. I wanted to be in the NBA playing with Brian and Kobe and, uh, and that's what I wanted to do. Or, I ain't gonna lie, I had a fantasy, like, you feel me, type dream of going to the WWE, bro. <laughs> Being a wrestler, do y'all see me? Do y'all see me? What the hell I look like being a wrestler, bro? Like, uh, that, that's why I said fantasy dream, because I don't think that was ever realistic, but hooping. I say hooping. Hooping was what I really thought I was going to do. Why you and Jada ain't making it official yet? Oh, okay, that's actually a good question. Um, Y'all, we not making it official because, one, we just vibing, bro. And I know y'all probably gonna be like, oh, here you go with the just vibing. But nah, like, dead serious, we just vibing. Like, we just getting to know each other better. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
She my dog, I'm her dog right now. That's how it is, like, we getting to know each other real well, being around each other, spending time with each other, all that. So it's like, we not rushing, like, it's not a rush. That's what y'all gotta understand, bro. Like, you gotta, you, you, it's sometimes better to have somebody as like your real friend, friend, friend first, and then y'all, if that happens, get off into that because it's like, they'll be your friend and your person in one. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, we just still learning each other, still just spending time with each other, cooling. So it ain't no rush to, oh, girlfriend, boyfriend, bro. That's what y'all need to understand, bro. Like, that's how a lot of people get into situations they, you feel me, they don't want. Like, cause y'all just rushing. There's no rush for that, bro. Y'all take y'all time and you know, that'll happen naturally. No cap, so, you feel me? Ain't nothing to it, just we we enjoying each other right now. We we vibing. We yeah. We yeah. We yeah. What is your current relationship status? Oh, I'm single. I'm single. So Alright, and with that question, do you want to be in a relationship or are you ready to be in a relationship? Um I'm not gonna say I don't wanna be in a relationship. I'm not going to say that I do want to be in a relationship, but what I will say is like, bro, with me, like, I'm a person to where if I get into a relationship with anybody, it just happened so naturally because we just clicked so well. You feel me? That's how it worked with me. Like, it don't be a pre-plan like, oh, yeah, I want to get in a relationship. Let me go find somebody to get in a relationship. Nah, like, it just happened naturally. So, you feel me? That's my answer for that. And what was the other one? Uh, do you want to be in a relationship and are you ready for it? Oh, the ready. Okay. Um, I'll say like I'm at a better headspace now to probably be in a relationship. I'm not going to lie. Like, like if it happens, it happens. I'm a little more open to it, but I'm still just taking my time and, you know, not rushing anything. So. You had to choose between good looks with bad humor or good looks with good humor. No, good looks. No, bad looks with good humor. Wait, re say the whole question. Okay. If you had to choose between good looks with mm -hmm. bad humor or bad looks with good humor, what would you do? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I ain't even gassing myself. But I'm a funny nigga, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck. So it's like... Me being not funny sucks, but me being ugly too is buns, bro. That's buns. That's buns. Ah, man. Boy, if I got no humor and I look good, I'm probably gonna get cheated on. But uh, if I look bad and I got humor, I'm still probably gonna get cheated on. Like, God, dog. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I, I can't be ugly. I don't wanna be ugly, bro. I'ma just have to take the no humor. Uh, I, you know. Alrighty. No humor it is. No He's humor. Not guys. Like, I'm gonna be. <laughs> like, dang, that's up. Alright. Is that Jada holding your face in that picture? That's your profile. What picture? I'm guessing your Instagram profile picture. Uh, <laughs> yeah, funny, bro. Uh, it might be, it might just be. You feel me? Um, I was recreating a young boy picture. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I was just trying to, you feel me, recreate the picture. But uh, <laughs> it might be, it might not be. The world may never know. <laughs> Deuce is a funny narrator, boy. I'll tell you that. Uh, Woo. Uh, funny man, funny man, funny man. Do you plan on taking music seriously? Music? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I might. I might, but it's like, cause y'all, y'all just don't know, bro. I love music. Like I gotta, I gotta tap y'all in to a little bit more of me, like. But everybody that be around me know, like, bro, we listen to music, we vibe to music, music, like we, 
we love music. So, and that's been like that since I was young. I used to, bro, I used to try to make rap songs with my cousin and all that, like, young. So, I always love music and I always freestyle on the side, but I never really, you know, was like, oh, I want to be a rapper. I'm like, nah, I just do it as a fun thing. But who knows? I probably will. I probably will. Like, if it, I just need one little breakthrough snippet or something or a little, yeah, and shoot. I might just take it serious for real. When are you getting tattoos? I ain't getting tattoos, y'all. I am not getting tattoos, bro. I feel like, like I like my clear skin, bro. Like I like, I like being, you know, clean skin. You feel me? I like being like that. And then it's like, if I get off into something else, well, I don't know. I don't know what like this will bring me, like. This, like, what I'm doing, y'all, like, what we all doing and stuff, you don't know what opportunities it could bring you later down the line. Like, who knows? Like, somebody might come across me and want me in their movie. And I don't want to be limited to playing a certain role because I look a certain way. I want to be able to be anything. You feel me? Like, that's how I, that's how I be thinking about it. So, like I said, y'all, like, my head, I love my head the most, the way I think. So it's like... I'm thinking about the business aspect. What would have possibly bring me more money and opportunities and I don't want to hold myself in a box. You feel me? So I will pass on tattoos. But they cool though. I do be A. Hey, I be like, man, I'm hard. But I'm just not going to get them. Alright. How does being around Jada make you feel? And how does she make you feel in general? Uh... I feel, I ain't gonna lie, I be happy as hell being around Jada, bro. Like, I be, it be all, all bubbly and smiles and we be cooling. Like, Jada don't be annoying me, bro. I'm like, a lot of people, they're around too long, depending on what they're doing. If they're chilling, then that's cool. But, like, people be, you feel me, different energies, all types of stuff. So, a lot of times people annoy me. Like, being around certain people too long might annoy me or whatever. But, Hey, she don't bring me, hey, no nothing, no issue. Like, I still be having my peace. We be vibing, chilling, happy. So, yeah, I be, I be happy around Jada. You know what I'm saying? I be happy. I be cheesing my ass off. <laughs> what are you most scared of losing? Most scared of losing? Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, bruh. I'm most scared of losing. Damn, I can name a few things, not gonna lie. My, bro, really like my village. Like, my mom, pops, grandma, Haney, like, my village, people who, who done been there. You know, my homies, my brother, like, all that, like, losing them. Like, materialistic things, that, bro, materialistic things can always get replaced, bro. You can't replace, though. You can't replace people. You feel me? That that you really love and like you can't replace time. Those are things you can't replace, so it's like, yeah. I know it's probably like one thing, they want one thing for the question, but my village, bro. My people. Y'all ask some real good questions, bro. What's a quality a girl you're interested in needs to have? A quality? Um, I'll say low pride. I feel like, like, yeah, I'll say for, yeah, for mine, I'll say low pride, because I feel like pride be leading to a lot of other things, like having pride, not being able to really listen, or, you feel me, like, stuff like that, and it's not even about just listening, but just pride, you feel me, I feel like pride leads to a lot of other things that could go bad, so, I feel like if your pride is high, you can't never bring your pride down just to compromise or something, like, that's not good. That's bad to me, son. I say low pride. Gotta do it to you, my boy. He, I, I see the look in his eyes, bruh. Do you have feelings for Jada? Yes or no? And don't come up with me vibe. Ha! Ha! <laughs> so they, uh, oh, they funny for that. They had to put the we vibe in. And they put it in parentheses. Uh. Ah! <laughs> I plead the fifth, bruh. Q&A, my boy. This ain't true for that. This is 
question and answer. But no, but I ain't, I ain't, uh, I plead the fifth, bro. I'm sorry. I plead the fifth. I plead the mother fifth. Y'all, hey, I'm, hey, y'all are devious. Y'all are devious. Why y'all so evil? Y'all evil, bro. But this is a good q and This is the best q and I've ever had, actually. Not gonna lie. And Deuce is a, a, a real good narrator. He asking them questions, boy. Yeah. Deuce Goose. Deuce Goose on the questions. Do you plan on going on any more trips for the summer? Uh, yeah. Most definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, I got a few spots I want to hit, actually. I know what most likely my next stop going to be. You feel me? Or the place I'm going to travel to. So, y'all going to see that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to see that. Y'all going to know what's up. But... Most definitely, got to. Well, y'all, that will be the end of my q and A. I I appreciate y'all, bro. Y'all asked some real good questions, bro. And matter of fact, let me let me show y'all how how long you gotta scroll. Y'all asked a lot of questions, bro. So I appreciate y'all for that. For really, you feel me, um, participating and dropping them questions for me. I'm sorry I couldn't get to all of them, but um, I hope I got to enough of main ones y'all wanted to see or hear. You feel me? But um, thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate y'all. Road to 200K. So look. If y'all rock with me, bro, share my page with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten friends, bro. Share my page. Um, tell somebody about me and let them know you rock with me in my videos. Fine. And um, I'm, I'm just going to repay y'all with dropping more and more and more and more. So if you stay and watch this full video, you a real one. Thank y'all for watching. Your boy Trey out. And I'll be back with another banker soon. So, yeah. She blowing me like a saxophone. She blowing, she blowing me like a saxophone.